in the country because following the campus government decision to reintroduce the famous monthly societal campaigns including local authorities were on Saturday out to conduct cleansing exercises in their different localities. Now, during the Saturday day, under the, of course, under the former regime of ex-president Jami, who introduced the nationwide cleansing day, roads, markets, places and corner shops were usually closed in order to allow people to conduct their cleansing activities. But it appears the approach has changed under the borough's uh, new directive and the NEA has observed some safety concerns during today's activities and its director of technical services, they will sit with the relevant stakeholders responsible to initiate better measures to organize this successful exercise. Maria Macham tells us more of that in this report. From Jim Pax towards Wealthsville and the Taboco to end, there was heavy traffic while people were seen on sideways of the road at the same time doing the clean exercise. The security forces, including the Gambia Armed Forces, the police intervention unit, some economic soldiers and other groups were all out to participate in the cleansing exercise known as Setetal. They were busy removing the rubbish from the gutters to ensure a calm, clean and friendly environment. These removed waste from the gutters along the highway are usually deliberately thrown away by the people using the road, especially those inside vehicles while plying the road. The officials of the National Environment Agency who were on the ground to observe the process expressed delight with people's turnout. However, the agency raised concerns about the movement of vehicles from one destination to another while people conducting their cleansing along the highways. Speaking to iAfrica TV immediately after the closing hour for the set settle, Malik Ba, the director of technical services at the National Environment Agency, while giving his impression on the conducted National Cleansing Day, says allowing vehicles to ply the road during the cleansing exercise is not only a hindrance to the efficiency of the work but also risky for road users. A hindrance. It is also very risky when people are doing some cleansing work and then you see vehicles moving. So it is really a big hindrance. So. I think um, this is the force of its kind after six or seven years when the CSRL was stopped. So we're going to look at it from this. Uh, we're going to do our own assessment to see and then come out with our recommendations as to what do you think is best for this CSRL. Because um, looking at it today, you can see the vehicles moving up and down and uh, people doing some clearing. So the risk involved is also very, very high. The director's concerns were considered by some of the drivers and passengers who were frustrated with the congested traffic but were not ready to share their views on Canberra. Some of them observed that it would have been even better to maintain the 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. regulation to restrict the movement of the vehicles than to allow the traffic being congested for hours and also disrupting the satellite activities. Commenting on the race traffic issues during the cleaning day, after going around to assess the exercise, our FJALA program assistant at NES Environment and Communication Unit reiterates the challenges posed by opening of the traffic while others are cleaning. I say I'm a bit uh, not happy for the fact that people are out, and secondly, the traffic's not closed. The traffic, you, you can see now they are walking, but people are going and coming. and. Some people told me like my life, our life is at risk, and it's the fact because you are walking on the road at the same that vehicles are going, they can hit you at any time. You just have to take caution. What I always advise them that just take caution, leave the way when they are coming, leave the way. But that has also going to delay the walk. You can see now they have already put their hips, but the cars will just come and make everything. They will scatter everything again. So what is the essence of the walk? We have been morning walking sometimes we will walk for a distance move from that area before coming but we realize that everything has been scattered the NES technical director for the outlines the other challenges faced by the agency as coordinators of the set settle according to him the environment agency lacks enough equipment to give out to people considering the number of people that usually comes out for the set settle when exactly what what did not go uh, when well is the lack of equipment um, the cleansing materials uh, initially, we were not expecting to have this turnout, particularly from the from the men in uniform, because initially we were told we might be able to get only 150 soldiers. But you can see the number of soldiers that are on the streets, there are even more than 500. So also the equipment as well, we didn't have adequate equipment for every soldier or every individual or security officer who is participating in this CSRL. So some other institutions even trying to support the agency in terms of uh, cleansing material because the agency cannot provide 
cleansing materials for whoever is participating in this uh, Mr. Ba also said the NES task force will meet to assess the whole exercise conducted and lay out recommendations for the betterment and the continuity of the cleaning exercise. We're going to come out, the task force is going to sit down and then do an assessment of how the, the overall um, cleansing exercise um, was. So basically we're going to do our assessment and come out with our recommendations. Different localities, especially highways and gutters are being clean, following a rigorous cleaning exercise which showed the removing of thrown garbages from the gutters, which now breeds a fresh and a clean environment. However, many believe that both the government and NEA should look for ways to address some of the concerns raised during the statutory exercise to enable a better organization in the upcoming cleaning day operations. Reporting for iAfrica News, I am Mariama Chan.